Today marks 75 years since victory in Japan. Whilst VE Day marked the end of the war in Europe in May 1945, many thousands of armed forces personnel were still engaged in bitter fighting in the Far East. Victory over Japan would come at a heavy price, and Victory Over Japan Day marks the day Japan surrendered on the 15th of August 1945, which in effect ended the Second World War. Fighting in the Asia-Pacific took place from Hawaii in the north to the northeast of India. Britain and the Commonwealth's principal fighting force, the 14th Army, was one of the most diverse in history. More than 40 languages were spoken and all the world's major religions were represented. An estimated 71,000 soldiers from Britain and the Commonwealth died in the war against Japan including more than 12,000 prisoners of war who died in Japanese captivity. The descendants of many of the Commonwealth veterans of that army are today part of multicultural communities around the world, a lasting legacy to the success and the comradeship of those who fought in the Asia-Pacific. Commemorating victory now, 75 years on, we reflect and we give thanks for the efforts and the sacrifices that were given. We remember the contribution of all Commonwealth and Allied forces, without whom victory and freedoms and the way of life that we enjoy today would not have been possible. I would like to virtually share with you the cry for peace that will be read instead in towns and cities across the county today. Victory in Europe was on the 8th day of May. Now it's August 15th, so what of this day? Japan's now surrendered and told to lay down its arms. Go back to your factories, offices and farms. But in Singapore, Thailand and Burma no less, our forgotten army still had to clear up the mess. We mustn't forget the war in the Far East or the lives which were lost before the battles were ceased. Three quarters of a century have passed since those days and life has moved on in so many ways. So August 15th became a day of celebration as Japan agreed to the Potsdam Declaration. And on September the 2nd, at last it was done, the world war was over and the battle's been won. VJ Day is a day to be cherished when we remember all those who have perished. Stand proudly, my country, stand proudly with Britain. Dwell on this cry, so proudly written. This kingdom never gave up, and it must never forget. God save the Queen. To close, I would just like to say that wherever you are, and whatever you are doing, quiet reflections or family celebrations, I wish you all a safe and a happy VJ commemoration. Thank you.